banged-up motor carriage lies half-submerged in the icy water, slowly sinking into the Insulindian Ocean. Only the cabin top, rear wheels, and the engine remain visible. I wonder if this is our car. <laughs> it must be cold and lonely down there. <laughs> in the icy water. We're not surprised. We still don't know exactly how we got here. Remember the tire tracks in Martinez? This is where they would Ah, lead. this is where the tracks on the plaza were leading to. <gasps> Maybe it is our car. We got to make sure that... <laughs> Kim doesn't put this together. He might get onto us. It appears to be so. Tenon has a peculiar look in his eyes as he inspects the wreckage. Let's investigate. I agree. We should definitely investigate. Lieutenant replies his eyes never leave the sunken vehicle. You get a sudden, sinking feeling. Stomach acid comes up as you look at the motor carriage in the deep, dark, cold water. Why the doom and gloom? It's just a sunken motor carriage. Some motor carriages are bound to end up in the sea. Run your hand over the cold metal. What is the make of this MC? Can I see a logo? How long has it been here? What should we do? Let's run our hands over the metal. The motor carriage is properly stuck in the ice. Getting it out would require a team of specialists. What is the make? The logo is too deep in murky water. You can't make it out. Pun but intended. You see a monkfish float by. How long has it been here? The ice hasn't closed around the vehicle yet. My guess is it's been here since last Saturday or Sunday. What should we do? Let's wait for the low tide and see what's inside. How long would it take for the low tide to come in? I don't know. An hour or two tops? Sit on the swing and wait for the tide to recede? Oh, neat. As you sit down in the old rusty playground, the world around you becomes very silent. The hinges creak under your weight. Dangerously so. Nothing but the sound of seagulls high above in the sky, echoing like distant laughter. Ice cracks around the blue motor carriage in the sea. Uh, I think if we do this, we might get um, some help with this. Hold on, it looks like, it looks very blue, point to the sunken vehicle. Yes, yes, it does. What's your favorite blue thing? Hmm. Let me think about it. Let's do it. Spit oh. flies from your mouth <laughs> to your moustache, your chest, the ground before you. No sound, though. <laughs> Raining heavily here, Chief. Mind keeping it down a bit? Sorry, horrific necktie. The lieutenant must think it's rather funny. He smiles and quickly turns away. Keep going. That's right. Just keep at it. It will come to you. Glad we could make you laugh, Kim. He's gloating at you. Oh, it's so easy for Mr. Teacher. With his lips puckered, the lieutenant lets out a beautiful melodic trill that puts even the insulindic thrush to shame. You hear the sound echo on the large body of water. Clouds race across the spring sky, and suddenly, you just feel better about everything. Okay, okay. That's way better than what you did. I don't know. We made someone laugh. The clouds pass in the sky, and the shadow of the swing moves like the hour hand on a timepiece. Thirty minutes have passed. Looks like this might take a while. Time to present a good topic for discussion. So is your dad also, you know, point to your eyes? Uh, the tide sure is taking its sweet time. Would you rather sit on an anthill for an hour or stand in a river of leeches? Well, historically, leeches have been used to prevent and even cure many ailments. Then it rubs his chin. Okay, he's thinking. I can do this. Let's do this. Who'd want to sit on an anthill? There are no therapeutic benefits to... Well, napalm ants, for example, are used in some rites of passage rituals. Clouds on the horizon grow darker, and the shadow of the swing set keeps climbing. You hear the distant rumble of the city. 
30 minutes pass. If you have to side with either the strikers or the shipping company, who would you choose? Do you think I will ever find my gun? God, I hope so. <laughs> the comedic timing on Kim is pretty good sometimes. Lieutenant's expression suddenly turns very serious. I've been thinking, if I put enough time into eating right and exercising, I could turn myself into a living weapon. Then I wouldn't even need a gun. Your voice echoes on the water, strange and out of place in the environment. 30 more minutes pass. One of my one of my best friends is is when you're like talking to him in like a group of people, a group of guys, like when we're together, it's you know, the guys are together or whatever. He he's a lot like this. He's just like he'll just say like the most random, random things. Um your voice echoes in the water, strange out of place in the environment. Three more minutes pass. Um can you make out the mark now? Detective, I've been able to make out the mark ever since we arrived. I find it odd that you haven't. It's a Coupri, model 40. Size turn to you. It is a simple and rugged machine, favored by working men, government offices, firefighters, animal control people, you know, those kinds of people. Is that a number on the side? Yes, 41. What do you think it stands for? <laughs> <laughs> it's our fucking car! It's as if he knows what it stands for, but wants you to say it. It's pedagogical. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with the case. We were just drunk as fuck, and we backed in, into the fence and smashed it, and then drove it over here and crashed it nice. <laughs> 41 is high, uh, is his rank in the underground street racing hierarchy. Rip chance. Small fish? This one. 41, huh? This street racer is quite the ladies, man. This must be Tommy41, the morning host of FM41. Looks like the factory made a mistake and accidentally called this one Capri41. <laughs> Stupid factory. I hate guessing... I hate guessing. District something? A precinct something? Municipal? Rip your temples, you're getting a horrible headache. Oh god, no. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> that was my reaction. 41. Precinct 41. A massive pit opens up in your stomach, and the most terrible feeling comes over you. No. Just nope. Say no to this, Harry. Oh my god, it's mine! I drove my car into the sea! I'm afraid so, yes. It looks like you started in front of the whirling, jumped over the canal, and then drove your vehicle in the sea right here. Maybe I was in pursuit of someone. How do we get it out? I could still fix it. They're not going to take me back after this, are they? The patch should cut in all this. Well, at least I can see what's in there now. Maybe I was in pursuit of someone? Of whom? I don't think so. If anything, you were probably drunk. Probably. Try definitely. I can still fix it. That is very unlikely. All the electrics are toast. <laughs> it goes for the electromagnetic steering and brake systems as well. You'd be lucky to find one undamaged component in there. In a few months, that wheel looks there okay. will be nothing but rust left of this vehicle. It'll be cheaper to buy a new one. Well, not cheaper. This motor carriage costs 40,000 Oh god. But in the long run, it still makes more sense to buy a new machine than try to refurbish this. I don't have that kind of money. Let's face it. This is a substantial loss to your district's budget. I mean, my station only has four other vehicles in addition to my kinema. He's avoiding your gaze now. How do we get it out? Detective, we don't. A rescue operation really isn't viable at this point. So it's just gonna be like, be there like that? I'm afraid it will have to be there like that for many years. Look at it. Parts of it might be salvageable, but overall, this machine is a write-off. Well, at least I can see what's in there now. Yes. Let's go, Tiku. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wait, what was the task that we just completed? Find the traffic cool again. Should have known it would be us.
Oh, there was a thought that I missed. <gasps> the badge. The commander's jacket. Wow. A black uniform jacket with RCM's signature white rectangle on its right sleeve and backside. Letters inside the collar read Lieutenant Second G G G uh, to JFR to J to Jifer to Jifer. The jacket is of exceptional quality, other than some minor wear and tear. Uh, we got the badge, Lieutenant to Jifer Dubois. Oh, look at us in that picture. <laughs> how, how long ago was that taken? Shit. Thick blue piece of acrylic covering a thin leaf of paper with the officer's name and rank on it. Next to the writing, you see a man stare back at you. A younger version of you. Already disintegrating inside, but still presentable on the outside. A police badge on which you see the photo of a man. You. Some seaweed is stuck to the back. I found my badge! At least something good came out of all this. Tenet glances at the badge in your hand. Study it. Encased between two durable plastic sheets is a bluish card with lines of information and a watermark in the shape of the street grid of Rivershall West. You see a photo, a name, a rank, a document number, the date of issue, and in the lower right corner, your precinct. Precinct 41? Yes, it's the designation of your precinct. 41. Like mine says 57. The 57th is mostly industrial harbor. A lot of asphalt. The 41st is... He stops. What? It's a tough station to work in. You have all of Jamrock to cover. That district should have three precincts, but money is what it is. It's about to get worse, too. It's no wonder you are like you are, he thinks. But then again... Can I just hit spacebar to continue? And then again, <gasps> I can. it's a legendary district and a hell of a station too. It must be an honor and a curse to work with people like Price, McCoy, Berdyayeva. Eight smile. Legends, all of them, but not nearly as legendary as me. And you? Is it an honor to work with you? Don't ask him. Ask yourself. Although if I hit spacebar, I might hit spacebar by accident and skip something. So I'm just going to continue clicking. The badge in your hand shines as you rotate it catching light you see lines of information on it and a shining watermark date of issue 7th november 50. four months ago seems like a new document was recently made uh one is handed to you as part of a promotion or if you lose the old one probably promoted the case created a lot of edge you have to take off the death march really gets us going a lot can happen in four months especially in winter. The winters are never easy on you. Of that you are sure. I remember that time! The tie around your neck feels tight suddenly. That was a good time! We had a good work-drink balance going! What happened, man? Pump it up! <laughs> Lieutenant... Two to four? Lieutenant W. Freighter. Okay, I had no idea what that was supposed to be. I'm glad. I thought I was supposed to know what that meant. The lieutenant is a rank above sergeant and below captain. It's the highest rank in the RCM that still does field work. I am a lieutenant. The title of Yefrator is added to your rank when you decline a promotion to a higher rank. Ah. In your case, captain. You have declined twice. Thus your double Yefrator. Declined? We like the field work. There are many reasons one would do this. The rank above you in your precincts decontage might be taken. Or sometimes promoted officers do not want to replace their superiors out of respect. And sometimes they just prefer the type of police work available to their current rank. In your case, lieutenant. Heavy duty case solving machine. What's a decontage? Decontage is the hierarchical system employed by the Revachol citizens militia. It means counting down to twos. The lowest rank is junior officer, usually teenagers. Then there are the patrol officers, then sergeants, lieutenants, and then a captain. 
That's basically it, except for a few kinks. What kinks? Kings like satellite officers and the additionally a freighter rank I already explained. The long and short of it is, you're his superior. Wait, satellite officers? You are given the title of satellite officer if your partner is quickly promoted through the ranks and you rise with him. You don't seem to be a satellite. So you've been putting up with all my bullshit because I'm your superior. You've been putting up with me because you're of the same rank. Because you're of the same rank. Superior. No, I've been putting up with you because despite an unconventional approach, you are doing good police work. Damn right, Kim. It matters more than driving your motor carriage into the sea. Smells encouraging. You he trusts you for now. Try not to spoil it. Turn back to the document. Such a small yet precious thing. Expensive paper caught between thick plastic like a fly in amber. It reads... Serial Rev 126205 Jammer 41. That's just the serial number. Rev Achol, Jamrock, Precinct 41, with some numbers thrown in there for good measure. Look at the photo. The man keeps winking at you with his green gray eyes. The photo is old, no doubt about that. Good choice. A newer photo would look different. How old? Eight, maybe 10 years. The guy in the picture is rather good looking. He's got a nice haircut I'm and good is looking. distinctly lacking in massive sideburns. And he's winking, why? What do you think? His face is already contorted by the expression, although it looks less grotesque on him than it does <laughs> on you now. The badge in your hand shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information on it and a shining watermark. Name, Harrier Dubois. Harrier? That's long for Harry. So you are Harry. Evrat was half right. Probably not a lot of people know your full name. Whoever told him your Harry Dubois didn't. Harrier is a cool arcade game. I don't know if you guys ever played that. I think it would be Harrier, since this is French, right? Strange it doesn't say Raphael Ambrosius Costo. I think we've already given that up, right? Uh, wait, what kind of name is Harrier? It's a wartime name. Revolutionary. The kind mothers give their sons during troubled times. Like Undying or Boxer or Ironhide. A name like Armour. Hmm. Harrier Dubois it is then. Please to make your acquaintance, Harrier Dubois. We're going with ha Harrier, because it sounds cooler. He's not going to call you Harrier. He'll keep calling you officer when he's angry with you, and detective when he's not. The badge in your hands shines as you rotate it, catching light. You Homosexual under All right, there you go. <laughs> Maybe you should stop obsessing about your own and other people's sexuality. Probably. Feels like it's about time to do that. You thought about this for eight hours. I did. Not only should you stop, you should tell Kim you've stopped obsessing about other people's sexuality too. Okay. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Unless you already got him killed because you were obsessing about your can you sexuality. Get her, can you There's get him no killed? Don't answer that. Within your brain. But for your own sake, please say you didn't. Stop obsessing about sexuality. I don't get anything for that. <laughs> I love it. I love this game so much. It's just... Should we tell? Should we tell Kim? Yes? I have big news, Kim. Tell Kim about how you no longer obsess over your sexuality. Okay. I have managed to stop obsessing about my sexuality. That thing. Actually, as I'm saying this, I realize I would not be telling the truth. <laughs> I managed to stop. Great. Imagine all the time you'll have for work now. Matter of fact, we should get back to it right now. Nod. Turns his attention elsewhere. Just one thing, though. What? 
Are you part of the homosexual underground? You didn't stop at all, did you? You are just obsessing about other people's sexuality now. Yeah, but... But am I? I'll spare you another 20-hour mind project. Yes, I am. Now let's get back to work. That's the truth. All right, good. Got a boat over there or something. Or a ladder, I guess. A dock ladder. Dock house? A dock ladder house? Is that the boardwalk? It's probably the boardwalk. Footprints in the snow. They lead away from the accident. Uh-oh. Oh, I see them. They're following uh, this path here. Let's, let's check over here first. There's a boat tucked away underneath the tarpaulin cover. So they turn... It looks like they just go up here. I can't tell which direction they go in afterwards. Let's, let's check over here. We look inside first. Through the broken glass, dusty shells, and a forgotten chair. God, this music's really sad. Let's put a flashlight on. No, I think I'm gonna have the bag. Uh, you know what? I changed my mind. We might get some, uh, some weird stuff going on here. Well, it doesn't look like the flashlight's making any difference. Just a chair. Okay. You see a dark red chair in the dim light of the room. It's only a red chair. Just a red chair in an empty shack with what looked like a dusty bow tie on the shelf. Nothing to see here, right? See, Inland Empire. Uh, hey, Kim, where are we? In someone's abandoned shack. On the coast, in Martinez, in Ravachol. He looks like it. <laughs> Just in case, you know. He's afraid you've forgotten suddenly. What's the red chair? Nothing. It's just a piece of furniture. He looks at the chair gathering dust. Red paint is peeling off it. Looks like blood, no? All right, let's let's move. Ah. Postcard. Cold breeze is enough to make the wall planks creak. The bow tie. <gasps> mm. That's pretty tough. It's pretty tough to get rid of that tie. It says... You're sure that wearing this tie is a statement. You're not sure what kind of statement, though. Plus two drama theater kid. This postcard depicts a forest of smokestacks releasing fat plumes of smoke into blue cloudless sky. The tinge of age, the color of old teeth, gives it a sickly look. Written on the back is a single sentence repeated twice. I got out. I got out. No addressee. Do I, uh, do I have new stuff to check out? We made the call report in the crime. Figured that out. Okay. I want to clear all this stuff. 
Uh, okay. Right. Bard room. Okay. I. Uh, hmm. I feel like if I had like higher perception or something, there's there's something that could happen here. Maybe later though. Maybe we'll unlock something later. Good. I don't think we walked up here. We also didn't check out the boat that was over here. The underside of the boat has recently been tarred. Allez... Vous... vous en? Allez vous en. That's like... Quick travel? What? Uh... Okay. A wedding stone, well-worn and covered in rust. White curtains have been drawn shut. No looking in. It is the boat? Huh. Look at these by what's providing the, sa the quick travel. Cinder blocks, charred, a makeshift fire pit with magazines for lighting. Can I just... I'll figure it out. Sounds of life in the north. Washboard scrubs filled from fabric. Did I get in there? Oh, there's a fence right there. You see dust covered linens, dried tulips on a bed. <gasps> Interstellary trousers. Plus one to kingdom of conscience? Plus one to Kingdom of Conscience Moralist Pants. I don't know what that... I don't really know what that means. Is that one of the thought things? Tailored trousers in light brown, moderate in every every aspect. They're absolutely unremarkable. In other words, perfect. Nah, my style. Oh, there's someone here. The bushes are too thick and thorny to pass through. Talk to the bench. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Lieutenant looks down the street. Oh, I want to sit on benches now. Ooh, so we found speed? Just sitting here? Hello? What time is it? Oh. I don't think I can afford to go on a binge tonight, guys. It's just like, I have no healing items. Construction material. Whoever planned to build this house left it in a hurry. Looks like that's that's locked. So maybe I need the pry bar. Morale healing items. Maybe if I take some some drugs that only affect our morale, <laughs> then we'll be good to go. I should take that. It's just a pile of cash. 
The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone. He can't be more than five years old. He watches his brother kick the stone with his tongue lolling out of his mouth. Uh... You guys look identical. The stone-kicking one becomes frantic all of a sudden, as if that's something to be scared of. The obvious fact that you just stated. Lillian's twin and Lillian's other twin. He looks just like me. The other one says, Yeah, I said that. The boy doesn't answer. His brother throws another rock. Both of their hair is covered in some kind of dirt. You're bad with kids. The general remarks with evident glee. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty brutal. And where are you, Kid Master General? Maybe I am. Now, how about some actual police work? We are not getting anything here. Hey, where's your mom? The kids don't reply, absorbed in their little game. Okay, bye kids, take care. Maybe that's her mom there. She kind of blended in to the... I didn't even notice her. I think I walked right by. She's... Because she's in the dark. She kind of blend in. She kind of blended into the background. I totally missed what that said. Fuck. Okay, let's talk to her. 